Okay guys, welcome back. Today what I'm going to uh, share with you guys is how we're going to do the uh, the tumbler wrapping. I'm going to use um, a sea life design. Later I'm going to show you onto my screen. Uh, this is the tumbler that I'm talking about. So the measurement for this tumbler is um, the diameter is 7.3 I guess. Yeah, it's a 7.3 and the whole uh, wrap around is around 20, 20, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 5, or 2, 3, 3, I go. Okay, so this is the measurement. It's yeah, on matrix is uh, 750 mil um, contents. You can be able to put your liquid. All right, so this is the one. Um, I already marked. A center where is my center okay I hope you guys can be able to see there is a center down here wait. okay so I already marked a center marking okay so exact I know exactly where is the center mark going to be so when you do your focus your focus uh, most probably is going to be on the top of the the highest point of this tumbler on your M1, right? So the M1. Okay. So the I will I will go I will open up and I will show it to you how are we gonna place the tumbler onto the rotary, right? So the things that you need will be your your M1 ruler. Okay, so this is going to measure the because I tried uh, to auto measure it but it's not working so i have to use the manual focus by using the m1 ruler down here so the m1 ruler is actually included in your package if i'm not mistaken is part of your roll tree uh, or your your machine i'm not really sure of that because i got the whole um, package of the m1 together with the roll tree Right, so the rotary is the ruler is part of it. Uh, mine, mine is a wooden one. Yours will be the acrylic because I got this uh, well, more than almost two years ago. All right, so this is the wooden ruler. I will show to you how are we going to do the ma the manual focus. Before I forget, because I actually uh, I think I skip uh, this part down here on the setting up on the uh, rotary. So first of all, this will be your image example right i really attach this onto the file section you can be able to download it so okay so when you already connected on using your ra2 pro when you connected to your or your m1 so you then you can be able to see down here do actually click onto the laser cylindrical okay after when you click onto the the laser cylindrical the M1 camera will actually take a, a photo of it. So you'll notice there is a green line. So this is the green line. So the purpose of this green line is where you actually position on top of your tumbler. And this is also the spot where you're going to start the engraving. So for example, so let's say this is the size. I actually have to put in to put the whole image on the center of this. So after I put onto the center of it, then you can actually do your framing. Okay, so I think I missed this part out. Apologize for that. Uh, the the purpose of this green line down here. So it actually has is basically in the center earlier. I did uh, note that I actually had mark a center on my tumbler so that is the center and the center line will actually meet the green color line all right so that is what i meant okay okay so i'm going to open up the cover and i'm going to adjust my camera so that you can see properly okay get a good view on that so what we need to do is we we will have to move the our module 
okay if, if you have to move the module to the top of um, to, the, to the top of the tumbler then okay so by using the ruler you have to place on top of the tumbler all right and we will actually have to read the reading on the top that means uh, for example it's being blocked by my camera so it's So for mine, it's about 20, 29, I guess, it's a 29. So you actually measure from the top of your tumbler to the top of your module, all right? So you get the measurement, uh, the, manual, the manual measurement on uh, that and you actually have to fit in, right? So what we do is uh, we will click we will have to click the measuring tape down here. We just have to click it. So what you actually appear will be on the yeah this screen will actually comes up. The the auto measurement is actually failed. So what we're gonna do is is already explained down here. We key in the um, manual focus. Just now we measured is twenty nine. So we click complete so it's done so now what uh, the, the whole idea right now will be we will have we will actually proceed to the engraving so or you can be able to go in the framing I have done the framing earlier so I will proceed to the process on engraving so this image down here will takes about 63 minutes okay so I'm fine with that. So I will actually have to go into pro start. Okay, because I'm connecting via Wi-Fi, so the beep sound is really there. So I will actually now I will have to click the the blue button on the machine itself. So the blue button is there. So what we do is. We'll start the engraving. Okay. So it actually start uh, engraving onto the tumbler. So I go down to the view down here. Okay, so I actually put my machine on top of the riser. This riser actually has been supplied uh, together with your M1 machine. All right. So the process is being done right now. Okay, so you can actually have looking at it. Okay, so we will it will it will run around sixty three minutes before it completes. Yeah, before I forget, uh, because of the diameter of this tumbler is more than sixty five mm. So on the rotary, actually, what I put down here. Okay, actually, I put onto the C on top of the C because it's more than 65 if anything below the diameter of 65 you will actually have to go onto the roller B but because this is way above is at least 73 measured so I actually put the roller at position C right so we'll come back when it's done okay so when the whole thing is being done uh, the effect of the tumbler is actually black in color so do not fret so um, the only way is to very easily to make it shine is just use a magic eraser and under the tap you just have to uh, rub using the magic eraser the shine will actually appear okay so this is the outcome of it so this is just the the biggest tumbler is a wrap this is where it meets and it's really shiny you can be able to see they're really in detail right so this is how it looks like so there are 13 of it all right so each of them they are the smaller one is actually taking about about 70 minutes but the but the bigger this is the bigger seven, 32 ounce bottle is taking about 90 almost two hours 10 minute shots of two hours right so i hope you i hope uh, the tutorial that i shared 
you guys did benefit from it using the M1. So I see you in the next one.